What's up everybody? I'm back and in this video I'm gonna go over an older video that I made back in I think around May. Uh, it's when I'm in a slicey boat. I'm out on the Ocoee and I got a chance to do some of the slicey boat. I get a lot of questions. You guys are always asking questions about some of the slicey boat moves I do. Whether it's uh, on the tail, whether it's a rebound, whether it's a cross bow switch. You know, whatever the move is, I get a lot of questions on that. So I'm just going to kind of do a breakdown. I'm going to do like a, I'm going to watch one of my older videos and kind of review it and break down exactly what's going on in it. A lot of you guys might know what's going on. If you know what's going on, then this video is probably not for you anyway. So if, you, if you're not already subscribed to my channel, go ahead and subscribe to the channel now. Hit that subscribe button, hit that bell, hit that thumbs up button. Let's try to keep this thing going, and I'll keep I'll keep rolling these videos out. You keep subscribing, my subscriber count keep going up, I'll keep doing videos. If There's a lot of information in here that some of you might want, some of you might not want. I might just get on your damn nerves. If you don't like my, my voice, okay, well then those probably aren't going to listen to me anyway. Yeah, so let's get right into it. I'm going to go ahead, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to click over to the screen. I'm going to click over on the video. And I'm going to get my mic here because my mic is attached to my, my laptop, which gives me, you know, that way you can hear what the hell I'm narrating on it. Okay, we're just going to go ahead. I'll move this in closer. Let's start the video right now. So the video I'm going to be watching is the Downriver Akoe Downriver. Oh, wow, that's loud too. Let's turn that down a little bit so it doesn't get a lot of bleed through on the mic. So the, the video that I'm reviewing is my, it's my Downriver Slice video. I'm in the Dagger ID70, the Dagger Id for you guys that don't know. And I'll just tell you right now, the Dagger Id might be one of the best slicey boats ever, ever invented. I mean, it's so damn good. If you haven't had a chance, now the 70, the six, there's a 68, 69, 70. They're drastically different. 70 is that holy grail of a boat. It's very wide. It's a nice flat platform. I ain't going to go into a whole review about the 70, but it's a damn good boat. Just trust me on it. Um, yeah, so I'm going to start off. I'll just start letting the video play. Okay, that's a, you know, a common rock splat that I do. This is in Slice and Dice Eddie. It's that rock splat. I load up. I load that bow. I kick a hard pump on the left. Float that down. Okay. All right. Now, this is the put-in. What I did in this video, I actually it actually had somebody, like, with me, and I handled on my camera. So, a lot of this is just the old-fashioned hold the GoPro up and, and record. So, yeah, I'm going to go ahead. So, back to this. I'm going to go ahead, and this is a splat at the put-in. This is the put-in splat, so there's a rock right there. The actual slide, the actual place to put in is right over here. You slide in. This is this little eddy. I love that little rock for splats. Cartwheels. Cartwheels are what they are. I'm not going to break down cartwheels. Nobody gives a shit anyway, bro. Nobody cares about your cartwheels. Okay, there's something. There's something. How I initiate a bow stall. So there's a there's um there's current coming down right here and what I'm trying to do is I'm coming into the current and I just kind of like double pump the bow I lift it pump it in let the current pile right there and as soon as I feel the current start pushing me back I put the paddle underwater and then I grab I'll I'll be underwater and I'm holding the paddle like this and I'm pushing and pulling so I'm going to push and pull as it's underwater. See that? Now my paddle's underwater. Now I'm, ro I'm rotating too. The rotation actually helps me stay vertical a little more. Rotate it into a uh, stern squirt. Yeah, real cool. Oh, oh, there's something cool. There's something real cool. Did you guys see that? There's something you don't see often. This is a cross bow stern squirt. Not to be confused with the other one I did the other day. Actually, I'll pull. I'll show you guys real quick on that. I've got. Um, check this out. This is my. That's just too easy. That's just too easy, bro. What's this? Where is it at? Yeah, you're so cool. 
So what's this video? This is when I was up in um, West Virginia. I have done this move a couple times. This is a cross bow switch into a stern squirt, which I've never seen anybody pull this off. Yeah, I know. Somebody's going to come along and be like, bro, I was doing this 10 years ago. But we just didn't have cameras back then. Cameras only got invented in 1920s. So we didn't know how to like film anything back then. I've never seen this. It's never been done. I'm the first one to do it. It's never been done. I see it on camera. I'm showing you guys. I've seen cross bow. I've seen cross bow stern squirts. I've seen that. I've seen that 15, 20 years ago. I've seen that a long time ago. What I've never seen is a cross bow switch. Swat cross bow switch stern squirt. I've never seen that. Never. So you're about to see it right here. So watch. Cross bow, switch, stern squirt. Let's watch that again. Reach over, boom, stern squirt. And I knew, I was like, there you go. But the thing was, once again, I didn't get it on video from third person. So it's really hard to explain what's going on. So, you know. You need to figure this one out first. So this one's actually pretty common. Cartwheels. Okay, there it is. So coming over, wow. See, I'm reaching over the boat. And as I'm reaching over, what I'm doing, I'm pulling in and throwing my weight back as I'm pulling in. So it, it helps once I reach over here, I load that back edge. And you need a current for this. I don't think I could do this in flat water. Maybe I could if I practice, but. And you see how I reached, I hit it. So as soon as I went down, I really slapped it immediately with that right blade and it helped pull me up. Uh, that that's a stern squirt against the grain so yeah and a, a half ass fucking rebound in there too that looked terrible what's that half ass rebound boink uh yeah that was that's lame cartwheels hey do you cartwheel bro had somebody say can you cartwheel i was like i don't know i could probably do 50 in the right spot i i think i i mean i, I can easily bang out 20 like that Oh, this is good. Um, there's the cross bow. So this is broken nose rapid, and I'm coming down. Right. So look what I'm doing here. I'm crossing over. Cross bow switch here. To cartwheels. And what I had found was. Oh, yeah. So when I do cross over like that, one thing I do. See, when you cross over, just so you know, your paddle's going to be upside down. So your paddle's upside down, which makes this paddle in particular, the AT paddle that I use a lot for play boating, it's very hard to paddle upside down. So I rotate it around if I don't have a place to cross bow it. Because the reason I'm rotating around because I'm doing cartwheels. I'm not just paddling down river. So watch me rotate this around. See, right there. I rotated it around, and there's a deep spot right there. I'm keeping them low angle. Notice my angle is very low on my cartwheel here because it is shallow there, and I'm, I'm floating down. So it's a, for, for, everybody, for anybody that don't know how Broken Nose Rapid is, it's a rapid with a long trough kind of, and you, it goes downward. So that's why I'm having a low angle. If I go vert, I'm going to bang a rock and fall over on my head and get washed downstream and I cannot get back up there once I'm washed down. So I need to make sure these are right. And I'm keeping a very low angle to rotate, rotate them around. What's that? Go around. Cross bow switch. Oh, did it again. Cross bow switch to cross bow switch. There, I have to rotate my paddle around again. Elevator move. See how I do that elevator move back up. And to do the elevator move, what I try to do, I don't really go that high on it. I go 
right there, right where you see the wave right there. And I just expose an edge really hard. And especially if I'm in an edgy boat, I don't have to give it much power. I just edge and right up to it. Look, I took one stroke, one stroke to get up there. Now this move right here, oh, this is um, this move right here. I was actually told this move. So, so one guy reached out to me and they told me that this move is actually called a proper screw up. I never knew what the name of it was. I mean, you just and people give me shit because I I like to name moves. But then what am I supposed to say? I mean, you you ask me what's that move? I'm like, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I just do it. No, let's name them. Let's name them. And let's, I mean, that's what they do in, in freestyle. You go to any freestyle, they'll say, oh, that's a that's a Helix. That's a Phonics Monkey. That's a McNasty. Well, I got to name it. I mean, I got to name it something. <laughs> so, so yeah, this is um, this is apparently an old uh, squirt boat move called the proper screw-up where guys go, they drop down, expose like a stern squirt, start to get over vert, and then rotate around, and then ferry away. So watch this right here. And I go down, stern squirt, rotate, go, cross bow. Did you see that? Go back up, elevator move again. That elevator move's not bad. It's an easy move. It's an easy move. Uh, this is uh, this is moon shoot rapid. And there's a pocket <laughs> right behind this rock. I've actually banged out around about 30 cartwheels here. 30 ends, by the way. When I say cartwheels, not 30 complete rotations. I'd be 60, but I've done 30. So I've done at least 30 cartwheels here. Once you lock in this, once you lock that in right there, and that I try to get close to the rock. Watch me actually touch the rock a few times. Oh, that's so fun. You can do them until you... I've done them until I've almost vomited. I mean, it's, it's brutal, but it's brutally fun. Uh, let's go... Okay, okay, I get it, bro. I get it. All oh, the blast. So when you're doing a blast, you want to like... The blast is to me is a fun move because I do it in a lot of different spots. Uh, the thing I really... So one tip I can tell you guys, you got to have a lot of ab strength for this. And I'm holding my boat vert with just all my abs. But one thing that I try to do is I try to get my paddle over my head. I want to be back here to create like a triangle. I want to be like a triangle out. And I need my paddle over my head to make this happen. Right there. You see that I'm over my head. Once I got over my head, I did a couple rotations. Bam. Got to complete rotation. Went right back to a blast again. I have thrown rebounds there. Okay, bow initiation. It's just a little flat rock. Yeah, real cool, bro. Real cool. Another angle. Splat. Run it. Run it. Oh, uh, there was a there was a decent rebound. So that was a pretty good rebound. Watch this. So as I'm coming off that, now I'm in a stern stall. So as I'm in that stern stall, for you guys that want to know the, how to do the rebound. When I'm in a stern stall like that, I, I I need to get my hands back here. I throw the paddle, and as soon as I throw the paddle, ideally, especially in a in a short stern play boat, ideally I reach over, I smack the water, and that and keep my hand underwater to keep my boat from falling that way or that way. So watch watch my right hand here. Watch that hand right there. See that? Did you see the move right there? And as soon as I throw that paddle, it helped me keep that going. Ah, uh, 360s, blah, blah, blah. There it is. Cross bow switch. With a little nomad kiss. There was just some guy sitting in the eddy that wouldn't get out of the way. He just wanted to sit there. So I tagged him a little bit with my stern, gave him a little, a little, little dagger love kiss. But um, yeah, see my paddles upside down again, which isn't bad. You know, I can paddle an upside down paddle. What's that again? So 
Oh, let's see. Okay, 360, blah, blah, blah. He suck, he suck. Oh, crossbow switch. So, for you guys that want to know, the first time I'd seen this move was Evan Garcia in a little white video. He was just out on a little white, and he was switching over doing it. That's the first time I seen it, maybe about three, four years ago. Then I was paddling with my buddy Casey, and then he did it. And I was like, dude, that was the second time I've ever seen this move. And then I just watched him do it a few times, and I was like, okay. Then I started practicing, and I pretty much perfected it. So, you know, what do you call a move? Like, So, my own curiosity, I ran into Evan Garcia at the uh, green race. And, you know, I, I demoed some Waka boats, and I got his number, and I did some demos and all that. You know, funny story on that. But anyway, I'm not even going to go into that. And um, so basically I call him up, and I ask him about, you know, about, like, some demos. I wanted to demo the Puffy Steez, you know. I, I did a OG demo, and then I did a Steez demo, but no one – he didn't have a Steez with a pod, and I needed one with the pod because that's what I had questions about. I know what the steez is. I want one with a pod. But um, anyway, so I call him up, and I'm like, hey, where did the um, – or I message him, and I asked him, where did he learn that? Did he invent it? Because if he did, I'll give him credit for it. And I was like, were you the first one to do that? I've never seen it up to that point. A lot of people's like, oh, I was doing that back 15 years ago. Whatever. Okay, I'll, I'll just have to believe you. But anyway, the first time I've ever seen it with my eyeballs, the first time probably anybody's seen it was um, – if you could, if anybody, if any of you guys can link to a video where you've ever seen someone reaching over and switching hands, please let me know. I'm not saying it hadn't been done. It's pretty simple. A lot of people's cross bowed, and I'm sure people's let go and played around. But he told me this is what Evan Garcia told me. He said he paddled with some French slalom paddler that was messing around with his paddle, was reaching over and switching hands. And I asked him, he said, they call, the name of the move is called the sex change. And uh, he goes, you're more than welcome to rename it and take credit for it, but I call it the sex change. And I was like, yowzer. I was like, I don't know about calling it the sex change, but um, I just call it a crossbow switch, by the way. So let's just call it a crossbow switch. And if somebody, leave in the comments what you think this – this should be called, and maybe we can change it. I'll change the name. If there are good enough names out there, tell me what you guys would like to call this move, and I will call it that going forth. But um, anyway, yeah, I'll just show you kind of how, how I do it here. Here's a slow motion version of it. You see that? So really, I pushed it, and, and I could tell you, it definitely pays to have a um, – it, it pays to have a foam core paddle because the foam core floats. See how I push the paddle down? I push it down and then catch it on that rebound back up. So when the paddle goes down, it pops back up. So, yeah, mystery moves. Oh, the mystery move. Uh, for um, To do a mystery move on the at flipper, it's a nice – there's a deep pocket right here. One thing, so I'm going to tell you guys, one thing I try to do, I get a lot of speed. I get a lot of speed coming into this, and you can see I'm probably about, I don't know, 45-degree angle. I'm not at a big, hard angle. I kind of come in at like that. I'm not really like that. I'm like that. I let the bow of the boat initiate, and as soon as water piles right here on this bow area, I plant a left stern squirt. Left stern squirt, and I'm underwater. So you see what happened there. Stern squirt down. There you go. Gone. And what I, so what I try to do, I, I go, you can see the rock here. You want to actually plant your bow right in there and go down there and then do the initiate the stern squirt in this pocket right here and just throw your ass down as hard as you can with like I try to like stern squirt and then I push up so I'm actually underwater pushing up which pushing up obviously pushes me down I have got some where I've went in and then I've got my paddle so I want my paddle to be low and then push up and I lean forward. I get over the bow of the boat. So I, because all the volume in these half, all the volume in the um, 
slicey boats are right around the knee area, so I got to get that knee area down, and then I just push. And then now, now I'm underwater with my hands up in the air. And if I can keep pushing, that's, that's great. Then I can go even deeper. So yeah, you can see that was a pretty good one. <laughs> that's probably about 20 feet to 30 feet underwater from this. So I initiated here and I came up right here. That distance is probably about 30 feet. Yeah, so that's probably about a 30 foot stern squirt. I mean, a 30 foot underwater. This one went under and right now I'm really just deep underwater. You can see my paddle blade there, but I'm actually underwater right here, stuck, just in suspension, just sitting there. And then it pops me up later. There it was. But yeah. All right. Well, that's the, um, that's all I got today, guys. Thanks for watching. And I will do more videos like this, kind of a, a tech video on some of the stuff that I do. I'm not going to do a lot on the, the stuff that you've seen a million times. You know, we've all seen, you know, I, I'm not going to do a, a video on boofing, stern squirts. We, there is 10,000 videos out there on how to roll a kayak, how to boof, how to stern squirt. There are zero videos out there on how to do a cross bow switch, how to do a cross bow switch stern squirt, how to do mystery moves and a slicey boat. There's very few videos, if any, out there on that kind of stuff. So, yeah, guys, uh, give this video a, a like. Comment on what you thought about it. Comment on any type of move you'd like to see that you've seen in my videos. You want me to break it down, let me know. I'll try to do better. Uh, I'll keep doing these walkthrough videos, uh, whatever. I did one on the Russell Fork race, so this is my second video. I'll keep doing them. It's just a matter of sitting down and actually getting the time to do them. But, yeah, thanks a lot, guys. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you guys next time.